What up, hype youth? <laughs> Back at it, man. It's been so long. I miss you guys. So grateful for this opportunity to come before you again. Represent HYPE, representing the capital G O D. And you're rocking right now with Minister JB. <laughs> uh oh, I feel a freestyle. I feel a flow. I <laughs> know. Uh, I gotta stop. I can't go. Yo, listen, I'm so excited to be here with you right now. I want to talk to you today about being a game changer. Being a game changer. Yeah, we're going to talk about a young lady. We're going to talk about a young man. And they were game changers. So yeah, let's get into this, man. Let's pray and we'll dive right in. God, you are great and greatly to be praised. We honor and we magnify your name. Father, as we come together, wherever we are right now, by internet, I pray that your spirit, oh God, that is omnipresent, would be with every listener right now. Prepare hearts that they may hear. Speak through me that I will do exactly what you have called me to do. God, it is our desire to be game changers for you, to make a difference in this world. Do it through me right now, God. Speak through me for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, man, let's get into this. Game changers. I want to talk to you about a young man, Josiah, and a young servant girl. Both of these are taken from 2 Kings. Josiah is taken from 2 Kings 22 and 23. And the young servant girl we find in 2 Kings chapter 5. I'm not going to read all those things. I'm going to give it to you quick, the JB version, the King JB version. And, but I do encourage you guys to go back and, and read these. 2 Kings 5 and also 2 Kings 22 and 23. The word of God is amazing. There's so much stuff in there for you guys to dig into. Yeah. Game changer. What is a game changer? It's somebody who steps on the scene and makes... A difference either by how they act maybe by what they say they just make a difference when they step on the scene so our first example is the young man Josiah now 2nd Kings 22 tells us that Josiah was eight years old when he became king he couldn't even be in hype yet <clears throat> but he was a king eight years old and he reigned for 31 years I believe it was Eight years old when he became king. But what's so crazy about this story is that the Bible says that he did everything that was right in the way of the Lord. It said it didn't turn to his left or it didn't turn to his right, but he walked straight ahead in the things of God. He was a game changer. Now, here's what's so amazing about this. I know there's many times I can tell you for myself that there's times where JB was supposed to go straight and I went left. And I was supposed to go straight and I went right. And it got me in positions where I shouldn't have been. But this is not to come down on anybody or to convict anybody. But this is to encourage you that what he did, he found his direction in the word of the Lord. He found his direction in the Bible. And the Bible says that thy word is a lamp onto my feet and a light onto my path. God wants to direct us in the way that we should go. And that's exactly what happened with Josiah. Hilkiah was the high priest who found the book of the law, who found the word of the Lord, and he read this. He actually gave it to Josiah's scribe, and the scribe read it to Josiah. Bottom line, Josiah heard the word of the Lord and was like, whoa, man, we're living right. Man, we're doing great things. Yes, we're representing God. We're living a hype life, but there's still some things that we must do to honor him in everything. So Josiah, he became a game changer. I'm going to cut it real short. He just says, listen, anything that is not honoring to God, anything that's not honoring Yahweh, we got to get rid of it. And because he was the king, Everybody had to follow suit. So he destroyed idols. He destroyed anything. He burned them all to the ground, burned it to ashes and got rid of the ashes. Anything that was not honoring to God, he got rid of. He became a big time game changer. And it said that he followed the ways of the Lord and so did all 
the people. And he was young when he did this. So this is my encouragement to you. Don't let your age be an issue. Don't say I'm too young to make a difference. Josiah was just one young person who made a difference. He, just because he was king doesn't mean he had to do what he did. He could have did anything he wanted, but he said, I'm going to follow the Lord. He heard the word of God. And he decided from what he heard that changes need to be made. And he became a game changer and changed the whole outcome for all those people that destroyed everything that did not honor God and started walking for him. He became a game changer. What Josiah did was he restored true worship back with God's people. You can be this game changer. Youth is no excuse. God is calling you to do great things. So as we pause here, I want you to understand the greatness that's inside of you. The Bible says there's a treasure in an earthen vessel. There is treasure inside each and every one of you, youth listening right now. You are a treasure box. You have great things to offer people. Don't let your age stop you. Don't let your age hinder you. Being a youth is no excuse. You have power. Oof, as a youth. So let me declare that over you right now. Understand that God is ready to do great things and calling you to do great things in your life. Youth is no excuse. So that's Josiah, what he did. Got rid of stuff to make sure that he honored Yahweh and pursued excellence in everything he did. Now I want to talk to you about this young girl, this young servant girl. And we find this in 2 Kings chapter 5. Let's turn to 2 Kings chapter 5 and read the first three verses. All right, hope you got it. So it says, Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honorable man in the eyes of his master because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was a mighty man of valor but a leper. And the Syrians had gone out on raids and had brought back captive a young girl from the land of Israel. She waited on Naaman's wife. This is what I want you to listen to. Listen to this in verse 3. Then she said to her mistress, so the young girl said to the mistress, If only my master were with the prophet who was in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. Whew. If only my master <laughs> were with the prophet who was in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. This young servant girl, game changer, she knew the power of God. And look at what she said in verse 3. If only my master were in Samaria, where the man of God was, he would heal him of this leprosy. Leprosy, a crazy skin disease where people are like, I, I, no, we can't even be around you. He would be healed of this if he was in Samaria, where the man of God was. Long story short, he goes. Naaman goes. He meets up with Elijah. Elisha and Elisha tells him, listen, go jump in this river like seven times. And he's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. This, that's, some, that's some dirty water. That's dirty water. And he's like, and then this is what's so crazy is that now his servant says, master, if he would have told you to do something great, you'd be all over it. Don't you want to be healed? Two things from this one, 2 Kings 5. First, the young servant girl says, if he only knew where the man of God was, she knew the power of God. And then Naaman's servant says, Master, don't you want to be healed? Like, go jump in this water. So two people who were not valued for some reason, maybe because of their age or their position, spoke up and became crazy game changers. So let's wrap this up, man. <laughs> we have Josiah who said, I'm going to get rid of everything and make sure that it's honoring God and only God. And then we have a young servant girl who said, if my master only knew the power of God that was in Samaria. And then you have the servant that says, master, don't you want to be healed? 
So we see three people become game changers. So the question I have, what is stopping you from becoming a game changer? And as I said before, Christ is inside you. There is treasure on the inside. You are a treasure box. Don't let anybody devalue you because of your age, because of your race, because of your gender, because of where you live. You are a treasure box. You have the greatest thing ever on the inside. So I encourage you not to be afraid to be game changers. One thing you got to say, hey, you tell your friend Jesus loves you. You post something on your Instagram that is glorifying Christ. You live a life that just says, hey, I'm not about that life. I'm about this life. You can be a game changer. And I encourage you to be a game changer. Hype youth, do not let your age stop you from doing great things. You are called to do great things. Young men, young women, I call upon you because you are strong. Do great things for the Lord. Become a game changer. So as we close, I'm going to pray. But before I pray, I just want to remind you, what is a game changer? A game changer is somebody who makes a difference. When they step on the scene, you make a difference. Truth be told, you will always have an impact on somebody. Every single day, you will have an impact on somebody. You will influence somebody. The thing is, will you influence them in a positive way? or a negative way. We need to be game changers for Christ where every time we interact with somebody, they're getting more of Christ poured into them. And the more of Christ you pour into them, the more chance there is that they're finally gonna grab onto what this life is about and to begin to live a life that is hyped just like you are. Continue walking for the Lord. You will always have an impact. And my encouragement to you is to make sure that impact is positive. Stay in that word. Stay praying with God. Stay connected so that what's on the inside will come out of your mouth as you speak and as you act. I want to leave you with this story. About three weeks ago, I was speaking to one of my old coaches. And I was on a Zoom call with, I don't know, there might have been 25 youth. And they were asking me, my coach said, JB, can you tell them? what used to happen before you came into the game at the Metro Center. Uh, so here I am playing for St. FX. This is a, a while ago now. And there's about 8,000 people there, maybe nine. It was a lot of people. And I was coming off the bench. And when I used to come to the scores table, before I came in, the place would go crazy. They'd play the song, uh, get your hands up in the air, get your hands up in the air. It ends up in the end, end, end. Okay, calm down. They used to play that song and everybody used to start clapping. Pa, pa. And then have signs up that said, Saved by the Bell and Jonathan, ring my bell. It was crazy. And what was so amazing about that, and I'm not trying to, to pump myself up, so calm down, Andy. Calm down, Della. Don't hate. It's not me. It was 8,000 people. Here's what the important thing is. What was so crazy? Why were they so excited? Because they knew when I stepped into the game that I was going to have a positive impact. They knew that I was going to be a game changer. They knew that when I stepped on the floor, when I stepped into that game, something was about to happen. And this is my encouragement to you. No matter where you go, when you step outside, when you step into the grocery store, when you're on the phone, no matter what it is, I encourage you to be a game changer. When you continue living a life that is hype for Christ, they know that when you step on the scene, something different happens. You are a game changer for Christ. You are the light of the world. You can make a huge impact wherever you go. So I encourage you, hype youth, be game changers for Christ. Let's pray. God, it's so amazing that you have chosen us to be your ambassadors here on this earth. You have given us the ability and the privilege to be game changers for you, to make a positive impact wherever we go. Whether it's with our words that we say, whether it's with our actions like Josiah said, I am getting rid of everything 
so that we can walk right for you. Like the young servant girl who just said, if my master only knew <laughs> the man of God that was in Samaria, that he would be healed. God, whatever it is, I pray that you would speak to these youth. Speak to whoever's listening that we be game changers for Christ. That we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. God bless these youth right now. God, as they continue to live, that they will live in a way that honors you and that they'll be game changers for you every day of their lives. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. All right, Hype Youth, man. Thank you so much for allowing me to invade your space for a few minutes. I pray that you were blessed. We miss you. So get at us, man. Contact us. We're here to pray for you. We're here to talk to you. We're here just to vibe, man. And whatever level you want to vibe at, we're here to do with you. We will be connecting soon. So keep your eyes locked. Keep your ears on point, ready for things coming down the line. We're looking. We're excited. We want to get together. And we're going to be meeting and talking about how we can stay connected with you. This is great for devotion, but we want to see you. So, man, stay tuned. Stay blessed. Stay hype. JB out. Peace. Much love, man.